Hey guys, we're back. It's Snuggy here with my buddy Leonhart. What's up? <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna do TOA 100 normal. But first, we're gonna look at the monsters I'm gonna use to do it. So my ta my damage dealer. Well, first first let's start off with one that we should all use for TOA 100 normal, and that's Veramos. He's a really good immunity, and um, here's the stats. Let me show you. So as you can see, I have pretty decent speed with over 20k HP, that's really what you're looking for. And I just have, I, you don't really need as high accuracy as I do, but I got him that high for other reasons, for arena really. So I have speed, it's not even maxed out, but it's got some good HP and accuracy substats, and then HP, accuracy substats, HP, accuracy substats. And then the rest are just kind of like looking for speed. And then you really need an armor breaker, so I bring Bella. Bella should be on violent, but I don't have enough violent runes to go around, so I gave her speed. And it's really important that she's faster than your damage dealer, because you want the armor break and then the, the attack to happen. So I have her rune pretty fast, also over 20k HP. That's what you're, that's really what you're looking for. And as close to 100% accuracy as possible, I can only get it to 95 or 75%. And we'll check out my runes. I don't have speed in my second slot, but I compensate that with having speed runes. So I have HP, HP, and accuracy. And then we'll check out uh, Jasoon. You can bring any healer. So if you have like an aerial, if you have a Amen, you can bring him. I like Jasoon just because she is she's very powerful on on violent runes. So here's her stats. Once again, you know, really, really fast and over 20k HP, you should be fine. Uh, and then we'll check out her runes. She's on violent, but it's a broken set. I just have her rune speed HP HP. And then which is some filler runes. For now, and then Verd. You know, everyone needs Verd for this because Verd will just make your run so much faster, and he'll allow you to attack the boss at the end a lot more times than normal. And so, I have him ruined, you know, really fast, like always, more than 20k HP and 100% crit rate. 100% crit rate is the most important, and then speed, and then. Uh, you can either ruin them attack or HP. I ruin them HP. Yeah, I think that's what I plan to do with my burn heal. But attack? Uh, no, no, HP. HP. HP for six. Yeah, and some people do violent. I do uh, swift just so I can make them faster uh, than all my other monsters. So here's the runes. I got speed, crit rate, and HP. Okay. Of course, the substats and the other ones are all speed, crit rate, HP ones. Twenty-four percent accuracy. That's Wasted. He did, he requires zero accuracy to be good. And then I'm going to be using Tower for this run. Uh, you can you can use Theomars if you have them, but I want to use Tower just because he has an AOE and I have him ruined better. So he doesn't have over 20k HP. So he's he's the one we have to protect, which really is not good for us. But I got him. I have him critting really hard, and he's uh, very fast. And I'll show you his runes. I have a Violent Blade. A lot of people do a Rage Blade or even Swift Blade, but I like Violent just because I feel like you're going to do more damage when you Violent proc than if you had more crit damage or speed. So I have speed, crit damage, and attack all maxed out. <laughs> oh, I like that room. <laughs> <laughs> That's a nice one. Yeah, it is. All right, let's do it. TOA 100. Here's my team. Here we go. All right, so the beginning, I'm gonna kill these acasis because acasi, acasis, acasis, <laughs> because they're gonna be targeting my uh, my tower, which is really weak, and he's also my damage dealer, so I really need him to kill the boss. If I don't have him, then I can't kill the boss. Okay. 
okay, so this is going to be really annoying, as always. And it's so nice to have Bella because of her C's. She can take those shields and the, the crit shield right off. Yeah, just like that. That's why you want her, you want Bella always like 100% accuracy, but you can't always get 100% accuracy. I don't. But if you have 100% accuracy, she's going to seize that almost every single time, which is great. So right now, I really want my Veramos to move so I can start healing. I don't know if I should. No. I'm just going to do a normal attack. There you go. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, <gosh>. That sucks. <laughs> this is not good. All right. So we're going to we're going to use mobilize just to increase the attack bar of my monsters. And this way I can protect my Chasun who's about to die by using Fallen Blossoms cuz she gets around the healing debuff. And then hopefully, there we go. So now they've both used it. Now I can actually use them use heal my guys up a lot. Now we're back in it. All right. See, look how much damage it did. That was one attack. It took out like <laughs> half of his HP. That's why I killed those Acasis first. Acasis. The Acasis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine having four what like four cases in a in a wind dragon. <laughs> <laughs> so as soon as your shields are up, you got another one when they're yeah. all on cooldown, then you can just pop your, your dragon. Yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> that'd be that would be ridiculous. Alright, we're gonna use another heal. Just so I can get my cases in my Tower up to max HP. Now we got it. Oof, 35k. <laughs> no armor break. Golly, I love tower. Bad dreams. Not only that, but he's violent, so you got that proc off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like 35k plus however much he did earlier. Okay. I hate this round. The Vanessa's hit really hard, and it seems like the first Vanessa that attacks my soon always armor breaks her. So this could be rough, guys, but we want to make sure all my monsters at max HP. And the real thing here is Vanessa's going to keep reviving other Vanessas, and it's going to get really annoying. So what you want to do is you want to not kill them. So I got him really low HP. But I do not want to kill the Vanessa. So we're going to put a dot on her. Okay. So this is good. Okay. So we survived the first attack, which is usually a good sign. <laughs> If I can proc a violent here, that'd be sweet. I can't. That's all right. So we're going to instead of armor break, we're just going to heal up. I don't want any of my monsters dying right now. And I'm just going to put another dot. Nope. Another dot. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> now this is pretty scary. This could kill Vanessa. But we're going to try it anyways. That's totally going to kill Vanessa. Oh, oh my goodness. That is beautiful. Wow. That's beautiful. That was nice. Okay. So this is great. Except for my Chasun is going to totally die. Okay, no, she's not. Oh, violent. Oh, no, it wasn't violent. Okay, good. It's good, good, good. So as you can see, get them all down to low HP. You just kill them all at the exact same time. It's going to really help you guys out for this stage. These Conrads don't do that much damage without armor break. Kill the armor breaker. Should be fine. Oh, baby. Armor break. Attack buff. <laughs> Let's see how hard speed, it is. Speed. 
Squall really hits. Okay, come on, crit. 47k. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. <laughs> That's that crazy. Is, that is so ridiculous. <laughs> 47k. Okay. So Tower's all right. He hits, you know, kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hard. You know, it could, it could always be better. Yeah. You know, 47. You want to aim for like, you know, 90. Yeah, you really want to aim for about <laughs> twice that. <laughs> oh 47k. I cannot believe that. All right. We're at the boss. The trick is you want to kill the right crystal and then you want to kill the boss. Okay, the right crystal is going to fill up his attack bar all the way and it's going to give him multiple turns you don't want. The only way to do damage to this crystal is by putting dots on it. Okay, so if you have a tower or uh, if you're using Theomars for this, use his first skill for both of them. That way you're putting dots on instead of uh, doing this here. I'll show you this. This is gonna do like no damage see And so the dots are going to do way more damage because each dot does 5% of the monsters max HP as damage Okay. Okay, so he hasn't used Xenocide yet, so I want to save I want to save uh, Amuse for when he uses this attack, which hits really hard and is really scary. There it is. Really hard. Very scary. <laughs> My tower is like, please heal me. Okay. We're doing good so far. And that's why you need Veramos, guys. Because if you don't have immunity like at all times, then... Uh, you need Veramos, because Veramos is going to remove those debuffs, all those armor breaks, these attack, uh, or these healing blocks. It's going to remove all of that, so you can actually not die on this stage, <laughs> which is the worst stage to die on, trust me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and heal up, because I want my tower to be at max HP, because the boss has a chance of just sniping my tower, which I don't want him to do that. All my other monsters have over 20k HP, which is where you want them. So I don't really need to heal. I will heal though, just because uh, Xenocide is not up. And so I, I still have plenty of time for that to, to come off of cooldown. So I have a question. Alright. So you have an Orochi, and he you said he was pretty tanky, right? Yes. Okay. Could you argue... Uh, against taking him with you and would he I mean would he have a good survival rate would you take him instead of so tower tower okay so Orochi is a very good monster um, for killing these crystals but the problem with Orochi is is that the well that's not even a problem with him is that the boss is just immune to continuous damage and so you're never gonna be able to land a dot on the boss and so bringing an Orochi would uh it would it wouldn't do enough damage to kill the boss and the boss heals every time you attack it and so it's going to attack six times with weak attacks and the boss is just going to heal for more than that and so you're actually healing the boss instead of doing damage to it good answer <laughs> <laughs> yes see that is really scary okay so we just need to put about a couple more dots we should be fine there we go so that crystal is going to die, okay? So we don't have to worry about that crystal anymore. We can start attacking the boss. So what's really important about attacking this boss is that you land a defense break. You need the defense break to do damage to this boss, okay? And so high, high accuracy is going to be really important for you. And so as you can see, most of my monsters aren't going to do that much damage, except for tower. Tower is going to come in and hit like a truck, and he's just going to do way more damage than anybody else. And so the, the only monsters you need alive at the end of this are Bella, like Veramos, and Tower, or your Theomars if you brought him. I'm going to go ahead and heal up, and then try and steal another turn of attacks with my Tower. Awesome.
So it looks like smooth sailing from here. Is there any other stuff that that might come up? I mean, with that crystal, that's that's going to die in a second. I don't think that's... Yeah, the crystal's not going to bother you anymore. You don't really want to attack the left crystal um, unless you're, like, trying to do, like... Uh, so if you're going to, like, here, I'll show you. If, see, I have an attack debuff on right now. And so my vertihill isn't going to do that much damage. So I'm going to put it on one speed so you guys can all see this. Whenever I attack the boss, it's going to attack him two times, and he's going to end up healing for more damage than I'm doing. See? Oh. So I'm, I'm healing the boss by attacking him with, with vertihill when there's no armor break. So you always want that armor break on. Tower can always attack the boss because he's always going to do way more damage. Okay. And so, and when you have an attack buff on, you can attack the boss because you're still going to do more damage if you crit or just or just really strong or high, have high attack. Okay. So this is really scary. Um, probably shouldn't use my muse so early. But I think I'll be fine. Yeah. Woo! Oh like, man, towers, that, was, that was close. <laughs> tower's almost dead. We're fine. I'm not going to attack the boss here. I'm going to attack the left crystal. I'm going to attack the left crystal. These monsters don't do that much damage. And also, right here, since my tower is such low HP, I'm not going to attack... Um, I'm not going to attack the boss. I'm going to attack the left crystal because the boss reflects damage. And so I would end up, my tower would probably end up dying. Hmm. And so I don't want that to happen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and armor break because I'm going to be able to amuse right here. And then I really want to save this. So I'm going to use this one. Doesn't do as much damage, but it's fine. I want to save it for whenever the boss goes. That way I can attack the crystal and slow the boss down. So you can, oh, that's all right. I had, I had to attack left on, so that's fine. So right here, oh, like his skill, uh, it freezes the, the, tar the enemy you target and decreases the attack speed of everybody else. And so if I target the left crystal, I can get lucky. I didn't get lucky. But sometimes slowing down the boss is really helpful because this is a slow boss. So slowing down the speed by 33 is really good for against this buff. But you can see we're down to like half HP. But he does get stronger. I still might, I've been able to kill him uh, even when he's at like um, like uh, I don't even know what it is. Almighty 55. So it shouldn't really matter too much. I'm going to go ahead and attack the left crystal because I don't want him to heal. And now we're back at it. Okay, we're going to try and do this again. We were unable to do it because I don't have that much accuracy on my tower. You're almost there, guys. Um, I'm going to... Well, I need to heal up my Chasun. And I can steal... Some more turns with my tower. There we go. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> so as you can see, these these monsters don't do that much damage. It's really tower. It's gonna do a lot of a lot of damage. Okay, so I'm going to force pretty much just soon to proc a violence so she can amuse right now. So I'm just going to... And there it is. Yep, amuse right there. Start attacking the boss. Get the armor break. And if I have Squall up, which I do, and I crit, I didn't crit. 71% oh. <laughs> crit. It doesn't crit, but it's fine. And there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes. Sorry, guys, but this is a very long boss. It takes a, it takes a very long time to beat him. As you can see, I already beat it. I already got my legendary scroll. Check in, you know, the fifth. I think it's the fifth when we're gonna do a, a huge summoning. Oh yeah, yeah. On the fifth, uh, Snuggie's guild. Um, well, you can tell them about it. <laughs> Shout out to my guild, Meta Mayhem. 
or guild one or G one guardian one guild, and uh, sometimes guardian two if we're lucky. But uh, we're doing a big old uh, guild summoning session. Come check us out. We'll be in room seven five seven around like four o'clock p.m. on uh, Central Time. Central Time on what day? Uh, it'll be a Saturday, September fifth, I think. Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, uh, we'll we'll do another summoning video when Snuggy does all his his uh, summons uh, for that guild event of his. So we'll post the video and uh, keep you guys updated. All right. See you guys. See ya.